Hi everyone, this is Anu from Indian Makeup Diva. Welcome to my next video. This is fairly short and it's going to be on uh, my skincare routine because I get asked this. Um, I have far from perfect skin and it's really temperamental and it can be dry one day and oily the other. And hormonal skin too. So it's it's um, it's been a long ride and uh, <laughs> So this, I found what works for me. This is just my routine. I'm not saying you should use this or not use this, but um, yeah. So here we go. I always cleanse my face with um, La Roche Posay Faclar Gel Cleanser, and as you can tell, it's well loved. And I've been using this for the past five years, and it's one of the only ones that I use. And I do use a Clarisonic, and I use the delicate brush head because. Believe it or not, with oily and dry skin, and I mean it's not combination, it's oily all over one day and dry all over the other. Um, I find that, you know, I, I don't do it every day, the Clarisonic. I do it every other day or every third day. And um, I use this um, as the cleanser. And I don't always wash my face in the morning with cleanser, I just wash it with water sometimes. Um, but I do wash it with Effaclar at night. So that that's my magic. I find the less that I use any cleanser, and I've tried a lot. Um, if I just keep it to one time a day, it works better for me. And it might work differently for you, but this is what I found that keeps my skin a little bit calmer. And I don't get many breakouts. This has... This was another one of those times where, you know, it's a painful cystic breakout. And um, I generally tend to avoid those things by irritating my skin the least. And then at night I use um, a glycolic acid uh, cream, 10% glycolic acid, MD Forte, or Alpha Hydrox Souffle. And uh, as you can see, both of them are well used. I'm almost done with both of them. And um, I alternate. This is for days my skin is oily. This is for days my skin is really dry. <laughs> I wasn't joking when I have crazy skin. So I just use that at night as my night cream. And for my under eyes, I always, always use almond oil, um, castor oil. I've been using that since I was 14. I just tap it on, like right here. Um, and again, you might want to test these things for yourself and see how it works for you before you say, okay, this is, um, you know. But I do use castor oil because I find it extremely moisturizing, it's cheap and it's available and, you know, all the Indian, uh, well, let's just say my entire family is a huge believer in castor oil. Since I was 14 I was told to put castor oil for my under eyes because they're dark. And, I mean, it didn't really alleviate any of my under eyes, but it does keep it extremely moisturized. Better than any cream that I've ever tried. And I've tried a lot of eye creams. My under eyes are my worst nightmare. So, and then during the day, <coughs> I use a Evan Haley Pomegranate Repair Serum. Um, I also like their rosehip seed oil. The rosehip oil. When it, uh, the one for oily skin, because I find that that one is less uh, heavy on my skin than um, this one. And I also used to use Declare, which I loved, but uh, Sephora no longer carries it, and I find that ordering online can be a pain, especially if uh, fewer people are carrying it. So I switched to Evan Haley, which really works for my skin as well. And um, I know not a lot of people like the smell of this, but I'm okay. I mean, it, if it works, it works. And I just put a very little bit and I just um, tap it onto my skin. And it works really well for me in the winter and drier times and on days that my skin is just incredibly uh, dry. And on days that my skin is oily, but needs just a really little bit of moisture, I use um, the rosehip one for... Uh, for dry skin, for oily skin, and sometimes I skip it when it's really bad summer. And during the uh, summer, I can also use it for my 
under eyes, this one. And then this is my um, <laughs> well-loved eye cream from Waleda. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce it in English, but I say Waleda. And it is a pretty basic eye cream and that's all I really believe in nowadays when it comes to eye creams. I mean, I know there are some very complex eye creams, but this is the one that does the basic job. And um, I find that I've spent a lot of money on eye creams and I consider myself like the topmost disappointment when it comes to eye creams and I've tried everything and nothing really does more than the average moisturizing your eyes for me and nothing's going to get rid of my under eye circles and nothing's going to miraculously make me look 50,000 times better. So if it does the um, basic of moisturizing without too many irritants, I'm really, really happy. And sometimes you get these, uh, I, don't, I don't know, they're not exactly clogged pores, but build up of, of product under your skin and this one doesn't do that to me. So I like that. And um, I stick with it. And then, last but not least, I have my trusted um, sunscreen. Again, as you can see, this is well loved too. And I, I love the sunscreen. I've been using it for the past, I think, six years. Religiously, every day. Um, rain or sunshine, and I get teased about it a lot, but I do use this and it doesn't break me out. It doesn't really leave much of a cast. It's a little bit greasy, um, but aren't they all? And I find uh, on my skin this works the best. Even the not so greasy ones supposedly, um, I don't know, I find this works the best. It works with my skin and my temperamental issues that I get. Um, one day it's dry, with the other day it's oily like I say. And one day it can withstand all kinds of beatings, and the next day, it, if you touch it, it'll get a zit. So this is the only thing that I've found that doesn't really irritate my skin at all. And I stick with that religiously. I do not ever go away from what works for me, especially when it comes to skincare nowadays, because it's um, the older you get, you don't want to be, <laughs> you don't want to be, um, you know, combating acne the way I sometimes have to, uh, or had to, back in the day, um, as you grow older. Sometimes you just want nice skin, and, um, you know, you do everything that you can to achieve it. Um, and one more thing that I wanted to touch upon was that I use a crystal, the Crystal Lift Dermabrasion System, which I got for my birthday, and I do love it. I have had microdermabrasion done before. Um, at a doctor's office. And anyway, so it was really, um, I really like it. I wouldn't say it's comparable to what you get into the doc in the doctor's office, at least not yet. I've had it for two and a half months now and I've been using it every week like you're supposed to and the crystals do get everywhere and it is a little bit messy. Uh, it doesn't hurt and um, it does give you really nice soft skin and it really does seem to help with my breakouts. Which, uh, I mean, even if they are rare, they are hormonal, which I cannot control, no matter what it seems. So it does seem to help with that for me. And um, the one thing that I hate is that the refills are pretty expensive. They're $40. And you can only use them once. Um, I mean, each refill is designed for one-time use. And, you know, at first I tried to do half of the refill and then the other half of the next week but no you gotta use the whole one um, and you know I think it does a fairly decent job I'm not sure I can say that it's just that amazing as of yet um, that it gives you professional results but it does give you pretty decent exfoliated skin and then um, you know I kinda keep it calm that day with uh, my Evan Healy products and that night, I use it at night, I put the Evan Healy afterwards because it seems to calm down my skin and it seems to heal quicker and then in the morning I have glowing skin, which is always great. Um, and, you know, that's about all that I Apart from that, I'm not really sure that I have 
any great skincare secrets anymore. I make sure I have an exfoliating um, cream. And I do, I'm not a huge fan of physical exfoliants, but I do have the microdermabrasion system thing, which I'm happy with. And for the rest, I think that's about it. That's my skincare routine. I do make a lot of these face masks in my kitchen, which, um, you know, my grandmother's recipes or my aunt's or recipes or my great grandmother's. And I read a lot on uh, face masks that you can make in the kitchen. But other than that, I don't do much for my skin. Or I don't do more for my skin. This is this is um, it. <laughs> Alright. Well, I hope you liked this video. It's not that spectacular, but it is my skincare routine. And uh, let me know what you think.